everyone, I'm here today to do my reading wrap up for you for books 36 through to 40. As ever, I will only be briefly talking about each book in these wrap ups because I film individual reviews for each book that I read. So the first book I want to talk to you about is a graphic novel that I got from the publisher via NetGalley in return for an honest review and that is Bloodstain Volume 1 by Linda Sedgwick. And I gave this book five stars, I absolutely loved it. It's sort of a combination of humour and horror in a graphic novel format. And it's about a young woman named Elliot who really struggles to hold down a full-time permanent job. She job hops constantly. Sometimes it's completely her fault. Other times you have to feel a little bit sorry for her because she's tried and she's put her all into it and it just hasn't worked out. And this is something that so many people can identify with and it was certainly something that I could identify with. And I find found as I was reading the book that it was just so accurate, so funny, and then from there things start taking a darker twist as she applies for a job that makes her feel uncomfortable. She doesn't tell her family what it is and it leads her to uh, a whole different sort of chapter in her life. I found the plot really interesting and the characters were really in-depth and fascinating too and I'm definitely going to continue on with this series. I highly recommend you pick this one up. The next book I read after that was also a graphic novel, again from the publisher via NetGalley in return for an honest review, and this one is called Echoes by Joshua Hale Fialkov. And I also gave this one five stars, so I was in quite a, a good graphic novel phase earlier this year. And this one was more of a mystery thriller kind of graphic novel. And the story follows a man named Brian and he takes pills to control his schizophrenia. And basically he spends a lot of the novel trying to sort of battle his demons and he isn't sure what's real and what isn't. And this also becomes quite confusing to the reader and that definitely adds an extra layer of excitement as you're reading the book because these dangerous situations come up and you're not sure what's real, what isn't, who's real, who isn't is he at risk? You, you just don't know what's going to happen and everything feels really scrambled and messed up and confusing but in a really good way because it represents Brian's actual mental state and so I found this all really fascinating. I don't think I've read anything quite like this before and I found it really really exciting. I couldn't put it down and again I highly recommend it. Then after that I picked up an audiobook and I was so excited to finally get around to this book. It was The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson and this is the first book in The Remnant Chronicles and I think the third book is either out or coming out at some point this year so I'm on my way to trying to catch up on this very popular and beloved fantasy series. As I just mentioned this is a fantasy series, it's actually a YA fantasy series but in my opinion it didn't read too annoyingly in a YA fashion. I actually picked up the audiobook for this, I'm not sure whether I already mentioned that, and I found the narrator really really nice and easy to listen to for the female points of view and for the male points of view again I, I found it all worked really well. So you've got multiple narrators because in this book you do have multiple viewpoints. And I felt that actually it really helped having these different voices for the different viewpoints because that way it made it a bit easier to distinguish who we were with and what was going on. I gave this book four stars and in case you aren't aware of the plot, this book follows a princess who is meant to be marrying her prince but she's never actually met him. The families have set this wedding up, it is fully, fully set up for them and they are meant to just go along with it, but she doesn't want to go along with it, so she runs away. And the guy who is meant to marry her also follows because he wants to hunt her down, he's curious about her. But meanwhile, there is also someone else sent to try and find her who wants to assassinate her. And so you keep getting all these viewpoints, you get the princess's viewpoint, you get the prince's viewpoint, and you get the assassin's viewpoint. And you never really know who is who in terms of the men, until quite far in and it's just really exciting and really interesting and I again I highly recommend it. Then I listened to another audiobook and I finally got around to another one that I've been desperate to pick up for quite a while which was We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist. I gave it four stars. In case you weren't aware this is quite a humorous memoir about his sort of dating history and about why people broke up with him so he talks you through in each chapter 
each relationship he has had, what he thinks went wrong, what he thinks went right, and then he also goes back and meets up with the person and finds out why they broke up with him. And as you can imagine, this makes for some really quite entertaining reading at times. And in this case, I really highly recommend you pick up the audiobook, which I did, rather than the physical book, because the audiobook is actually narrated by Josh himself. And I feel like that has such an extra sort of extra something special when the author also narrates their own book. But overall, this was just a nice, quick, easy, light-hearted for me at least, for the most part. I will mention more in my thorough in-depth review of this one, but for the most part, light-hearted read and I really enjoyed it. And again, if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend you pick it up. And the final book I want to talk about in this wrap-up is another graphic novel and this is White Sand Volume 1. I got this one from the publisher Vionette Galley in return for an honest review. And this was probably my least favourite of this batch in this wrap-up. I give this book two stars. I don't want to go into too much about why I didn't like this one, but basically the story wasn't my cup of tea, the characters I just couldn't really get into. I found, for a graphic novel, I just found it really difficult to get into. You need to be able to get into the story, get into the characters, and I just really felt left quite sort of hanging by it and disappointed by it. And I wasn't a massive fan of the artwork either, to be honest. So if you're a massive Brendan Sanderson fan, you might enjoy this one, but for me, I just, it, it wasn't my cup of tea, basically. So thank you very much for watching this review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.